Okay. Okay. Everybody's got their deck of cards and their character. And hey, I, how you doing, Carly? You gotta leave us early this time, aren't you? We got a set of cards here. Yeah, we have an ice cream truck that goes around. The yes, we have the unfiltered ice cream truck. It's ours only. It comes specifically to our house. We have our specific character die. Everybody should have set their cogs in the thing. You guys are already on it. Master board game peoples. The phases of the turn are really simple. What we're gonna do is we're basically going to move our little marker over there. We're going to then move our character onto the, the space that we move onto. And then from there, we will take part in some type of little mini game or a battle, and we'll pass the, the player on. That's, that's it, okay? There's a lot of stuff involved here, but it's not relevant for everything. So we're just gonna play the game as we go along. I'll have Callie start, and uh, right. I will go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and grab that thing over there, but you're gonna explain your turn if you do remember. Yeah, kind of. All right. So I'm gonna first decide as the kinship. Oh, not those, not those. There's a little deck. There's oh, a little deck. Little one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where are we going to go? Okay. Let's go. Wait, do I have to, I have to pick a number first? So or? there's the little board there right in the middle. I'm try and zoom. That's as close as I can zoom in. You, know, you just draw the top of this deck okay. here and place it and down over there. Okay. So go ahead. They're Wait. all looking at that. Hey, Jade, how, how, how you doing? Thanks for coming by and saying hello. Beautiful. We are Beautiful going to placement. the Watcher's Temple. So when you place that down, then we're going to have oh, yeah. Samantha go ahead and move the kinship marker to that space there. And we're going to visit the Watcher's Temple, okay? And the Watcher's Temple, uh, okay. which I'm very lucky I have this super saved wonderful thing here, as well as, of course, the magical rule book, in case I, my notes are terrible, which they kind of are. I like to write all my notes down, though. Let me find the Watcher's Temple. <laughs> Foundry Outpost... You would think I'd have a good memory, right? Based on the fact that I just covered this not too long ago. But it's not so great. It's not so great at all. I'm not gonna lie. All right. No, this is not the rule book. I literally just grabbed the rule book. Okay, I just need to see what the thing is. I know what they all do. I just need to know the name of the thing. It's oh. the Watcher's Temple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So many things to do. I'll find it. Watcher's Temple. Okay. Each player is going to the positive. Okay, so we're all going to be. So we take we take a look at this board whenever we go to the Watcher's Temple, and we're going to see if we've been how we're aligned. And aligning is pretty simple. If you've ever played a game like World of Warcraft or any game that involves alignment with something, it basically means that you're either attuned to it or you're like that's that's what you are. Your fire alignment. I'm water alignment or poop alignment. That's an alignment. For you. It's not a really good one. <laughs> it is one for me. It is one for me specifically. Uh, see these here. Uh, these are our alignments. We're all at zero for all of them, so we are balanced. When we're balanced, we'll get a bonus. When we're unaligned, meaning one of them is at two and others at two and all the rest of them aren't, we're unaligned, we get nothing. And if, let's say, we had one at, like, five, so it was all the way here and all the rest were at zero, that's what we'd be aligned to when we get a bonus for that specific thing that we're doing, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, too, remember, when we move to that location, we're also going to increase our threat. So we start out at zero AXP. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're also our level is zero. We have zero threat. We'll move our threat marker up one because that's how many spaces we moved on that board there. Okay. Um, now let's go ahead and see what we do here for specifically being. So if your alignment is balanced or in a line, place one of each condition uh, coin into the Dawn Shade bag. And each player starting with the active player must draw one. If you're balanced, you receive the positive. If you're, if, if you're not balanced, we'll start with the negative. So we're going to take these oh, conditions all the there, way. all over there. Oh, over there. Over Pick, here. Take all of those. One each of each color. No, we're off to work always, already. Yeah. Looks like I'm going to be around to watch the live for <laughs> a while as we get back to normal. Best of luck. You can still watch it later. <laughs> or yeah. or you can watch our bonus live streams for Patreon. Do you expect me to think? Wrong. Okay. Maybe we can. I got them all? Okay. You, you shuffle them all in there? Yeah. Okay. All right. We shuffle them all in. Wait, I think it's missing one. The orange one? Do you want to have an orange one? <gasps> Didn't find. Okay. okay. So now because we're balanced, we just take, take one of these out. And we look at the balanced one, which is the positive, and we put it on top of our character. We get a bonus. Yes. Oh, there's yellow ones. Wait. Yeah, you put. After we all get one of these, these are... we gain eight XP. Oh, yes. Don't. we did it wrong. <laughs> it's fine. One of each color. <laughs> we all got different ones. Yes, we get eight XP. Yeah. And that would be it. Yes. We successfully managed to get it. We should have get all one of each different different colors, right? We did, yeah. There's no other way because there's no other dupes in there. Well, if she accidentally put it in. 
Oh, you did? Yeah. Because this was underneath this one. So okay. Know that That's more. fine. Okay, I'm airborne. What did you get? I got accurate. All right. Precise. Precise. I got mended. Mended. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. That was it for that. Uh, we will now draw a new location past the active player marker. And I got an outpost, which is a guild hall. I'll just go ahead and put yes. this. That's a good one. This will go over here, I guess. Oh, you know what I also didn't do, which is silly? One little thing. Go ahead. Where are you? I'm like, what am I doing? There's a thing that I'm missing at the very beginning of this the game. The reading here. the story? No. I mean, I could read the story, yes. <laughs> there is a story. If you're more into RPG, D&D style, you can read the story together. We and we didn't exactly want to spoil that part no, of it. No, there's uh, one, <laughs> one thing that okay. get me in trouble. Uh oh. Okay, uh, we're gonna place. I gotta place these guys down. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Oh, let's see where they are. Oops. So here, 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 here. Sixteen. There we go. It's cold. Okay, it sorry. Really Those are things that are relevant. Samantha, you're so bright. Um, oh yeah, you are literally bright because the sun. Right. I told you, if you're sitting over there, the sun's gonna hit you right in the face, and we can't see you. It's okay. So you walked on this area, okay, Callie? So you're gonna get this bonus, and this is a plus Yay. one to damage. And then I walked on this area, so I'm gonna flip over this. I'm gonna get this. It is a ability to miss. Pretty good. These are all bonuses you can get. Okay. Okay. So, let's go ahead and do the thing. The the foundry. Do you remember what this one is, Callie? Is that, uh, is that what I got? This is where we're going to be able to level, to uh, spend our level points, right? Ooh. Yeah. I think you're right. Village, outpost, tavern, and our foundry. No, I thought you said it was a guild hall. Oh, it was a guild hall? What okay. Is, what does it say? Yeah, it's a guild hall. Yeah. Fine. Yes. Outpost, guild hall. <laughs> Uh, when we visit it, each player can spend training points to either increase a character's stats or skill die. Pretty good. So here's how, the, how it works. We all have three points to spend, which are these guys here. When we spend them, which we're going to spend them, we each get to spend one together. So we'll be spending three together, which means we'll all upgrade three times. Your upgrades are move the cog to increase it, so from one to two, two to three, right? Or you will be able to take these die and put them on the board. Putting die on the board are going to guarantee you certain skills, okay? You'll be able to use your ability cards. But right now, I'd probably suggest you leveling your cogs up. Your agility is deter determines how many die you can roll total on your turn. Attack is how many attack die you can roll. Defense is defense die. Items is how many items you can have. HP is how much health you can have. And devotion has how many Vaki die you can roll. We can't move this up. No, you only move it when, yeah. it, when you level up. So I'm okay. going to go ahead and move my attack up for one. I will go ahead and move my defense up for one. And then I will move my HP up for one. When I move my HP up, I'll take one of these little guys here and put it on my character. I am going to move attack Along with up. Along the three others. Uh, hey, Shane, one, how you doing, man? Two and HP up one. OK. Uh, I guess I'll move my HP up one. My attack up one, my defense up one as well. Okay, and Samantha, you do the same. Or whatever you want to do. Yeah, I'm going to do the same. Okay, and no <laughs> bonuses, right? So we're not going to get any, any uh, there's no bonuses for going to these places at all. I don't think there's anything No else. XP, but we do move our threat marker up, which I always oh, yeah, forget to do until afterward. Yes, Remember, if we hit a certain threat, depending on the level of difficulty we're playing, which is 19, then we'll just start the bad guy mm -hmm. confrontation. Until the end. <laughs> okay. Active player marker is done. You get that. Okay, take this quest deck here, draw it. It's an event. Go ahead and place that down and put it down on the board somewhere. The, the, uh, so the trails have to connect. Matches. The trails have to connect. Yes. And hey, you Pedro, how you doing? To. We're doing good. We're on doing good, Shane. We're staying fit. It'll just move fit. our threat meter more. <laughs> Not really, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> staying so chip, moderately fit. The chips feel really good. They're very... Oh, they're excellent. They're excellent quality. They're actually, like... Nice. Really. All right. Did you put your event down? Heavy duty chip. No, don't put it that way, because then the, it's gonna mm -hmm. go off the board. Put it that way. Oh, true. Move that there. 
Wait. Beautiful. One, now, one more threat. Now we move one space. We go one thread up. And then we'll look at event number three, which is our logbook, which is our uh, unique event. All right. I'm going to find you. Mm. Event three, right? Yeah. All right. Should I read this? I'll read one of the events out loud. Yeah. Okay, we'll one story. Ahem. Your ears twist in opposite directions as two complete competing sound sources vie for your attention. In one ear, you hear a low rumble in the distance, signifying a cascading waterfall. And in the other ear, a creature's distant voice echoes through the trees. Who among you have the skill to become this land's most revered champion in one of Dawnshade's favorite sports? Cog bashing. Woo! All right, so you have two options, Samantha. One, investigate the waterfall. Two, play cog bashing. What do you guys want to do? I don't know. You're the matter. leader right now. You get to choose. I it doesn't go to the waterfall. All <laughs> right, Bill. Thanks for showing up. Appreciate it. Have fun at your webinar. I want to go to the waterfall. Go into the waterfall. All right. We're going to investigate. Follow me, Ash shouts as he runs off the path. The foliage grows denser and it becomes increasingly difficult for the kinship to continue toward the sound. Finally, Ash breaks through the tree lighting to, clearing, to a clearing and discovers a hidden habitat bustling with hundreds of gossamer-winged aether sprites. At the base of a spectacular waterfall, Kimber seems entranced with the beauty of this awe-inspiring place. She reaches out to touch one of the spirits, but Ash pulls her back. Aether sprites are known for being unpredictable and mischievous, Ash says, pointing to a small, almost imperceptible scar under his elbow and nodding. <laughs> a tiny Vaki shrine dedicated to Danu, the Watcher of Water, is at the center of the habitat. Ash lights a prayer wick and invites the rest of the kinship to join in his offering. Play a devotion challenge, okay? So we're going to roll the number of hits greater than or equal to the kinship uh, dev stat times two. So my dev is one. Everybody else is at one as well, right? Yeah. So we are going to do a stat challenge, which is this bad boy here. And the way we do it is we take this thing here and we're going to well, we're going to do some kind of like little dexterity game. So I'll move this over here. Now, you'll take one of your cogs, which are these little die these little tokens here, and you're going to flick it onto the board, okay? For each of your uh, stats. So, all three of them then? No, just one, because you only have one dev. Yeah. Oh, okay, so why oh roll dice. Sorry, not these. You're gonna roll dice. Thanks. You're gonna roll dice. Yeah. So take take one of your. The, the uh, die? Uh, no, no, no. Vaki die, right? Vaki. Okay. Yeah. There we go. So one of the yellow dice. Yes. Sorry. Ugh. Okay. A lot of mini games, so I gotta remember them all. Okay, you take this, and then you're gonna roll on the board. Okay, and then you'll check where it is. So it's plus zero and it's at one, so I have one. So just roll it across. So I have plus zero, plus one, plus two, uh, plus minus one. So you're trying to get your die right here. Okay. And you got a two <laughs> and its highest is on, it's the, uh, the most is on the two, so that's four right there. So okay. we have five total right now. No, I have one. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. The, num pips on You're, the number of of the number of your, your devotion is how many Vaki die you roll. Okay, yeah. so go ahead and roll it. And so if you move the die around, okay, perfect. <gasps> wow. All right, and Samantha, you're up. Wow. Uh, roll it again. <laughs> Has to go on the board. Should I listen to the rivers and the lakes that I'm used to? Um, Waterfall by TLC. <laughs> beautiful. Okay, so one plus zero plus one is two plus another one for this area is three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Our total dev stat, which is four times two, is eight, and we rolled a ten, so we are successful. Success. So when we succeed, we gain six experience, which means we move eight uh, to ten, and then we get four more. And when we level up, we'll move this little level marker here, and we're going to put a level, a training point marker there. So we've leveled up, and we're also going to get two. Th uh, two plus three tawny, so oh, let me see. One tawny, gain accurate. Okay, so we get three tawny and, and you gain accurate. Okay, so three tawny. Tawny is the, the little coins there, so go ahead and take those. The copper ones. Yep. These ones? Yep, yeah. little coins there. And put them on the board there, and you Accu get accurate. Accurate is, accurate the blue is one. a blue one. 
Let's go ahead and put on top of your character. Token that says oh, stun. The other side says accurate. Okay. Yeah. And put it here? Yeah. You'll stack it up when we battle. All right. Uh, and I can read, the, I'll read the success for you. Ahem. <laughs> Happy with your offering, the Aether Sprites surround you in a, in a wondrous display of Vaki runes and light. As the show comes to an end, you feel energized with the renewed sense of determination. Left behind is a gift of coins and sprites must the sprites must have collected from the bottom of the waterfall stacked neatly on the shrine. Ah, that's so that's nice. Cute. So cute. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. Okay. Ashley's turn. Ashley, you're up. So you'll take this, you'll look at it and tell me what it is so I can figure out what we need to do. Battle. Oh, okay. So we'll take these off. Do you want me to put them? Can I connect it? Oh, it is a battle. Way. It is like this. Yeah. No, we're good. Can I connect it on any point? Or does it have to be at the last? You, it can, it be can any go point. anywhere you want. But remember, the farther we move, the more threat we're going we're gonna to gain. We'll go up and If threat. you place it over here, we're going to have to go one and two. So we'll gain two threat. If you placed it here, we gain one threat. Does that make sense? Yeah. If it can match yeah, up can there. Is there a? Yeah, there's a. I can't see. Can you move? Yes, that? she can. You can put the put it right across the through the eleven. And I'll go. There you go. I like that. So we're gonna have to get an extra threat when we go through the middle area again. But that's not that's bad. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so. Any threat? Uh, yes, one threat. No big deal. All right, time for a uh, time for a battle. Oh, I actually have an entirely separate sheet for battles. It's actually not that complex, <laughs> but it's good to remember. So you take, you're going to take your character. You're going to take any stats you've gained or uh, bonuses you've gained put on top. You'll take your health, which is on your mat here, and place it underneath. So I have four. So Add you're going to take three. four health and put it underneath. And then you'll look at your defense and take that many defense to put underneath your character. And they're going to be little stacks. And then you just place it on the board there. Doesn't matter where you place it. Oh, except it has to be in the green area. It has to be in the green Sorry, oh. doesn't, it doesn't matter as, as long as you put in the green area. Okay? That was my thing. Also, nice. I'll look at the battle we're fighting. We're going to do battle... We're level four. Well, I'm not going to put it right on the crack. I didn't. I'll get it. Oh, no. All right, so we're doing... <laughs> what? Our phone fell. My phone got dropped on the crack. All right, so we're doing the first battle, level one. <laughs> Is it broken? No, I just cracked a little more, but it's okay. A little more? Oh, it was already cracked. Okay. The um, not our... screen protector. Yeah. Uh, you see, so this is called the Battle of the Caravan. Okay, we're level one, so we do level one battle. You see a trail of black smoke coming from a clearing ahead. The source, an overturned wagon with barrels strewn about in disarray around the wagon, uh, are a group of travelers fighting desperately against a Razorback scouting unit. An older traveler begs for the Razorbacks to just take what they want and leave. Kimber turns to Ash in horror. We must do something! Although that's supposed to be a female, I think. <laughs> Ash concentrates, trying to come up with a plan. He's always using his head. Patolum whispers to Kimber it's, har it's the hardest part of his body. So, okay, Path one or two. Um, path one is sneak to the wagon to get a better look, or two is rush in to aid the wagoners. Sneak or help? Sneak and like see what's going on, or go ahead and just charge in. Number two. Number two. Charging in. All right. Ash decides to run in and run in and ask questions later. As he begins running toward the battle, Patolum spots a broken chest with Tawny strewn about about it. The battle can wait. He shouts, diverting the kinship towards the chest. Kimber rolls her eyes and taps her clawed foot impatiently as the kinship scrambles for some shiny coinage, like a marsh hound after a bone. Uh, play loot shoot for plus three Tawny. Loot shoot. Loot shoot. What's a loot shoot? I gotta figure out what loot shoot is. It's not the gambling one, is it? Mm. I feel like we didn't do this one before. No, I don't think we played this mini game. Loot shoot. What? You know, it'd be nice is if it told us where in the rules. I think because it's still a prototype, they haven't shoot. put in. They don't have final page numbers. And I know what a pain it is to have to change all the page number references later. <laughs> loot shoot. All right, you find loot shoot, and I'm going to do the battle. <laughs> so we don't waste their time. That much. Okay, well, our kinship is four, so we're going to get three Razorback Scouts and one Razorback Magus. Okay, so Razorback 
Magus is black. And Razorback Scouts is, I don't know. We'll have to look. Uh, none of these guys. Those are his characters. So his character is red, his is blue, mine is orange, yours is purple. I'm going to find these Razorbacks really quick here. Cog. These are all the cogs. <clears throat> More cogs. I like the uh, sirens in the background giving us wonderful music. Loot shoot. All right, give me a second. Let me find the Razorback Scouts. <clears throat> Loot shoot challenges represent members of the kinship competing for item drop. Objective, flip your character ah. chip closest to the item to win the item. Three Razorback Scouts. There you are. All right, I found so them all. We're going to, we actually have to take our guys off first. All right. I, was, I jumped the gun a little bit. Okay. No, your whole stack. Just take, take the whole, whole stack. stack. Yeah. Okay, what are we uh, doing? Draw an item from the tier one item deck and place it face up at the center of the battle. Tier map. one. That's three. Two. One. Yes. Each Seven. player simultaneously flips their character chip from anywhere off the battle map onto the battle map using their thumb. The player whose chip lands closest to the center of the ring around the item on the item card wins the item. Remember, you may only hold as many items as your okay. items that will allow. Got okay. it. Flick. Get it on the mat at least. I know. Well, technically. No. <laughs> as long as it's touching the mat. Go ahead. This is hard. Say it's really? Uh, it's the closest. All right. Yeah. What is it? So, but uh, this says it is a. Move one space without increasing threat. Oh, that's nice. Okay. okay. That's useful enough. Okay, now we'll put our characters back. Hooray for some loot shoot. Where was that any, out at, at anyway? And then it was the little section hidden in somewhere? In the battle section. Oh, it was in the battle section. Yeah. Okay. It's one of the things listed. All the sirens in my neighborhood have been <laughs> been some kids celebrating their epic birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Best prototype ever. I'm in. Nice. Good. That's beautiful. They did a really good job. All right. Are we ready to do some battling now? Yes. All right. So we set up the minions and the and we got set up and their stats too. So we got their. I have the I have the three minions, right? You put them all back in. Oh no, I did not. I did not put them all back in. That would have been crazy. <laughs> Uh, four HP and two shields for each of these guys. Okay. And then the Magus is four HP and three shields. The max amount of shields you're ever going to have is three. And then this guy will go in the fourth slot. I'll just go ahead and flip it like that so it's easier to see. One. Two. Two shields, three HP. Beautiful. A lot of bad guys to deal with. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, they're pretty strong for level okay. one. Uh, initiative chips now. So we have one, two, three, and four. So one, two, three bad guys and four bad guys. Number of players. No, that one's three. That one's a different one, right? Why does it say HP four? Oh, it does say four. Okay. It's a bigger guy. So number of players and number of baddies. Yeah. Take them together, put them in the bag. Okay. And then it's based. Not number of players plus one. No, that's just for the, the final oh, battle. Okay. Drag number of players plus place the initiative. Uh, plus place on initiative. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Inside bag plus player. <laughs> Where's mine? They're oh, warm. Okay. So now we're gonna draw <laughs> based on number of players. So we have four. So I'm gonna draw four chips. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Put it on initiative. Okay. Not and then, bad, not, bad. not bad. And then we are going to now take part in a battle, and it'll be the active player. So Ashley will be doing the battle first. I also need to set up this little deck here, but I only need to. We're, yeah, it's all of us. It's, right? I know, but I do oh. need to take out some cards. The blank one. Yes, 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 yes. One, one. Oh, it happens to be all these. Perfect. Hide them over there. Okay. Stay here, quests. Okay, I've shuffled this up now, but you are going to go first, Ashley. What you're going to do is you're going to choose the number of die based on your agility, and you have how much agility? Three. So I'll choose three die. You can choose any of the three colors there. So red is attack, 
Blue is defense and yellow is Vaki. What does that mean? Vaki's going to let you do abilities later in the game. Red is damage now and defense will gain you shields. You can have a maximum of three shields. The Vaki will let you collect those colored chips there and then later use your abilities with the die. So, okay. And then, and then roll. On the board or is it Anywhere as long as you don't knock things over. <laughs> okay, so you got a one attack and a special. Your special says that you give one plus one Vaki or you to yourself or to an ally. ally. Give somebody a Vaki. Uh, Kelly can have it. Okay. Thank what you. What do you want? I want red. Red? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Red goes on the red. It's basically mana. It's currency for your spells. Uh, you get two Vaki of your choice of the basic tier one. So you can have yellow, blue, or red. And look at your cards for what abilities you have. And usually it's going to be, yeah, okay. yellow, blue, or red that you want. The tier one one. So this one might cost two yellow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you have to choose two of, the same get... two, two, two of the same type, too. Uh, red. Two red? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Thank you. And then you do one damage to one of the dudes. The health or? It, no, no, to the other shields. And you'll do damage oh, from the okay. bottom. So we'll go ahead and do that, removing this, and you're done. This will go over here. And then a bad guy will act, number two. So we look at number two, we check to see his attack and defense. He has one attack and three defense. So he'll take one and three, he'll flip over a card, he's targeting orange, he rolls these, he does one damage to orange. To health or? No, it starts with your shields and it goes up. Oh, shields. Okay. And then one, he gains two shields. Oh, I see. So he only gains one because he only lost one health. Wait, yeah. Does it take us forever? Uh, can people get extra huh? entries into giveaways by backing the Kickstarters okay. you talk about? You used to do that. I do for sponsored ones. And usually the sponsor ones pay and they're also play on the street. <laughs> and we need someone to manage that. <laughs> we don't and we have, and I have right nobody now. here to do that, which is why I haven't been doing sponsored <laughs> streams. I mean, this is technically a sponsored stream for Dawn Shade, but we're not doing any extra sponsorship other than just playing the game and talking about it and letting you know it's on Kickstarter that you can back it if you like. Okay. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, I think that's that's that for that guy. He rolled. He attacked. And he targeted, he gained his defense back to three, which is his max. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, num we'll number do. one is going to Number act. one will go. And he's going to roll one and three as well. Oh, so many shields. And he's also going to be targeting uh, you. Me. Uh, you take no damage, and he gains one shield. <laughs> okay. And now the, the next one here is Me. Kelly. Attack. Yep. All right. I'm going to go three attack. Three attack die. Okay. Okay. So you got one, two, three, four plus your bonus, which does a, one, one extra damage. Two so that's going to do though. five damage. Okay. You want to get this five. guy down? Yeah, and I can use my token and that'll be six. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Yep. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we you nuke this enemy out of orbit, which is nice. These guys don't move; they stay where they're at. Uh, but when you roll, you get a number from the bag, so we're still gonna put that initiative chip back into the bag. It'll just be the next one up. Okay, that is the end of the round. Take these, move from five to four here, and then put these back into the bag. One Vaki you to yourself. That. So, so why do I have to give it to an ally? You don't have to. You can. So that's why I said you can give it to somebody else or yourself. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> Stuff to take curious. care of, Grant? Uh -huh. Lies. Uh -huh. Lies. All right. Yeah, number three is going to fight. And number three is the boss here. He's got one attack and three defense as well. Oh, no, he's not the boss. Okay, he's, yeah. one, he's one and three. I guess he's not as scary. One. One, two. Oh, I... Some, some of these over. Yeah. Chasing all the dice. Uh, he's already got three shields, so that doesn't matter. He does one attack and his special, and his special is. Wait, who's he attacking? Marked target. Oh, you haven't 
marked target is he gains accurate. Should really be focusing on what these. So he gains accurate. Go ahead and give me an accurate, and we'll put it on this guy. Uh, this guy here. So and he does one damage to this guy right here. Callie. Mm -hmm. Okay. Callie, um, you take a damage. Yep. Okay. Um, uh, you should also check to see what your characters have on them. They're supposed to be using. If you get to one opportunity to use it, and then it goes away at the end of the round. So technically, Callie, you had accurate. Oh. But you reroll misses, but you didn't have any misses. Yeah, I didn't have any. Okay, and then who else took her their turn? Ashley. Ashley did. And perpetrate shields. Which one is yours? She's this one. Precise. Precise. Penetrate shields. I'll penetrate. How much damage did you do? Uh, you did one, one to the one that I already killed. And again, it's shields back. Yeah. Okay. So help me remember all the things and once once you learn yeah, them because yeah. I won't remember most likely. Uh, no, we're not done yet. We got these guys still left. Let's move yeah, over here. Next. Oh, I see. Yeah. I also have three attack die. You make fun of me. Yep. <laughs> uh, I I get three die and I roll. Oh, I only have two attack. Oh, I only increased you attack. You increased yeah, attack a lot. Yeah, I increased my attack. I I roll my Vaki die. Because okay. I know these guys, they generate their shields really quick. All right. That's three damage and a miss. Oh! Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. Funny bone. Uh, three oh. damage. I'll remove from this guy. You making fun of me for hurting myself? Uh, you have know. the chance to evade roll DS dice. That's what your um, oh, token does. Yeah. You have a chance to evade. If you get oh, if I, got I never got targeted, and it's now my turn, so... Mm -hmm. Wait, that's you. Yeah. This goes. Okay. And now number four will attack, and four is the boss, so it's two and two. All right. What do we got here? Oh, my gosh. <gasps> One, two, three. Three damage and no shields, and it's going to be directed towards me. And his special will activate as well. Ooh. Target is slowed. So I am slowed. It's fine. Slowed? Samantha? Slowed? Slowed, Slowed. Where is that? It is, it is on the opposite side of the oh, positive okay. statuses. Thank you very much. Slowed means that I get minus one agility for one round, which means that I can roll one less die. Do you want these back over here? Okay. Yeah. And Samantha, you're up. Okay. Oh. Okay. Call it a funny bone because everybody else thinks it's funny when you hit it. Yeah, that <laughs> probably makes sense. <laughs> I'm going to get my butt up on something higher. There we go. Now I feel like a bigger man. Attack and one of these. What? I'm doing two attack and one of the yellow. Sure. All right, so that's two. And I have agility, which means I can reroll misses. You have no misses. Oh. So you get <laughs> one Vaki. What, what Vaki do you want? Um. And you get to do two damage. You want to do two damage to the guy who's got health missing already? Yes, please. Probably a good, probably a good, good call. call. Yeah. yeah. Can I have blue? Can you have blue? You may. There you Thank go. You. Now remember, in order to use that ability, you also have to unlock a die, your three special die. Mm -hmm. It'll tell you on the card what die you need, and the yeah. card, the, the die's symbols tell you what die they are. Well, we might be going back to the outpost. <laughs> yep. Then Which is why I'm letting one. you know. Yeah. Um, Do I take mine off now? My your guy. what? My tokens. Yeah. We roll all misses. And I have plus one. Oh, that would have helped if you okay, had. She never got targeted. If you had health missing, yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah. Next round, now round three. Take these guys, put them back in here. I'm, just I'm a bigger man, yeah. Now I'm bigger because I got on the little little <laughs> stool here. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, it's just these couches are. Be more like lounging couches than game playing couches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, Ashley, you're the next active player, so you get to go. Choose your die and roll them up. Attack! 
Good night, Mr. Skoselik. Good night, sweet prince. You have two out of three oh, shields. Yes. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got it. Uh, and I'll do a blue die. You want a shield? I need a shield. <laughs> For our day, technically. Okay, what did you get? One, two, a Vaki, and a shield. So you give yourself a shield. What Vaki would you like? Uh, red. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. You already have two red. Uh, blue. And the damage, two damage? You want to do it to the one that has two damage left? Oh, I'll put it here. I'm guessing you do it to this guy, this guy here? Yeah. Success. Success! Alright, next player. I'm going to... I'm going to do... Oh, oh. This thing is going to keep <laughs> falling, isn't it? That's okay. Two red and a blue. Okay. Uh, you missed one. Six. No missed fixes. One. Okay. Do one damage and one you get a shield. Damage. <laughs> Damn. And I gain a shield at least. <laughs> All right. Number Why am three. I in the middle of those. Middle of what? Oh, because you moved them to put your oh, oh, okay. thing on. I wasn't sure if that was a space. <laughs> no. this one. All right, three. He's gonna. He gets to reroll all misses. He's gonna roll one and three. <laughs> Uh, miss, 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 and two damage to orange. Orange. Yep. Oh my. Orange, you glad you took damage? No. And then two is going to act, in which case it'll be three again. Oh, and he rerolls all misses. Oh, so he actually might reroll for shields. Because he was special like that. Oh, he gains one shield. Okay. Oh my goodness gracious. Yep. All right, and then... It's two. He goes again. He oh, does. A uh, two shields and no damage. Two. Uh, so he gets... Ashley. So he gets one shield. He gets one more shield. Next round. <laughs> Are you ready for an ultimate ability now? Okay, this is round four, so there is a timer round two. on the battle. It's round two. Oh. We go from round five to, to, to zero. Oh, okay, five to zero. Okay. Because, on, because in round two, uh, we're going to drop in the bag here, and if there's an enemy, that top enemy is going to ult. One, two, three, and four. Yeah. So the top enemy, which will be this guy here, is going to ult. I'm up. Did you roll three attack die or only two? Two this time, because I needed a shield. So we need to get him out. I'm gonna roll two attack die and a shield die. Uh, we need to just reduce their HP as much as possible. Or we need to have their, their number of chips lower than our number. Okay, of chips. that's two damage. One is the one that um, is gone. What does that mean? It's oh. an ultimate thing. Ultimate, ultimate a damage. And like I will gain a shield. Special ability. Oh, like, look, <laughs> you have it too. You're so mean. <laughs> you guys all know. Yeah, an ultimate. Means, like, oh, I actually oh, lost. I have one agility ability. lost, which means I'm, I wouldn't use the shield die. Okay. Oh, There's nothing wrong with being a nerd. Yeah, yeah. Uh, plus one HP to myself or to an ally. I think I'm. I'm no, I have four HP. Yeah, Michael's the okay. second one. Okay. Uh, player. that's it for me. There you go. Um, I will do Relaunch, she needs and now I'm back guy. on. Okay. Nice, welcome back. Not high, not high. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I'm rolling two red and one blue. Two attack and one shield. That's two damage to this one here? Mm -hmm. Yay! Nice. And one shield. Gotcha. Success. Alright. Number one is going to ult, which is number three. Alright, what's the... Plus two damage to the target. Blade Buster. Which is purple. 
Uh, oh, but, actually, it actually has the most, so that's good. But it's going to be one and three, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's plus two damage with this roll. Okay. Well, that's good, because you Oh, have... five damage. Uh-oh. And he gains two shields. <laughs> Ouch. Well, if it makes you feel about any better, it would have blocked out anybody else. Yeah, yeah. So it's good that you got... Yes. <laughs> It, yeah, it, it is. is. It's very good. This is a co a co We're working together. Mm -hmm. You don't want anyone to die. Mm -hmm. And then number three is going to go, which I'm is her die. again. No, you're not. We're good. No, there's only one more round after this. And this person is attacking uh, orange. And one shield and no attack. No damage. Okay. They're back to where they were. Well, he's a little bit lower than what he was. Okay, okay and we have one, one more round left. This is the last round for the battle. Okay. If we don't eliminate them or they don't eliminate us, it will come down to whoever has the most chips left over. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So we'll count the chips here and all of our chips, and whoever has the most chips left is the winner. It's actually rather close. 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, they 12, roll a lot of 13. Is and we have 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we're actually up. By one. <laughs> All right, so hopefully we don't get all of their chips. How did I do? Good. It's okay. Okay. We have okay. we have a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. There's a chance. So we're going to have to... I think we're not going to be able to defeat them in one round. So my suggestion is we all go for shields. I only have one shield that I can roll. I have two. I'm next, right? Yeah. Yes. It's just us going. So should I roll... Oh, wait, you haven't rolled yet? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. You will go next then? So you have two shields, so what you want to do is roll two shields and one attack. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I would suggest. Where are shields? Is that defense? Yeah, the blue, yeah. Jet Riker says you look like you've got the might on the, like, like you've got the might on the ropes. We need to make it harder. No, don't make it any harder. <laughs> I don't think we're actually. No, I think we're tied. Okay. What'd you roll? You got one, one. shield. You're Is special. No, it's not well. special. It's nothing. Oh, it's a miss. Oh, okay, nothing. My miss, so you, this goes up. What? And then. You get two shields. Oh, no, one attack. Huh? Maybe. No, you said that's nothing. Shield plus a shield. Oh. Wait, did no, you roll no, this no. or no? No, that's not. Oh, you only rolled one, one shield. shield. Okay. I, I just saw this over here. Okay, and then you want one attack. Which one do you want to do damage to? This one? Yeah. Not a bad idea. All right, number two is going to go, and he's going to target blue. Me. And he's going to do his one and three, which actually shouldn't be that bad. He does one damage to you, and he gains one shield, but the shield is irrelevant because he has okay. max. And then it's going to go to Callie. She can roll for fights. Okay. Fight, fight. I can only roll one shield. I'm going to do two. I'll do two attacks. Try to make up for it. Alright, you wow. miss, miss, but you got this and a damage. So you got two damage. You want to hit this guy? Good choice. Yeah. No, it's one <laughs> one damage to an adjacent foe. So I have to hit one and one. One and one? Yeah. What does one and one mean? One damage to one adjacent foe. Adjacent to my target, right? Oh. Or is it adjacent to my target or adjacent to me? Uh, maybe it's a cleave. Yeah, I think Probably so. right. Spinning blade is what it's called. All right, and you're done? Mm -hmm. All right, last one, number four. The big bot baddie is going to roll two and two. One, uh -oh. two, two, two. And he's got one damage on purple. And he's got one shield. Oh, no. <laughs> And that is the end of the battle. Now we count the chips. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yay! Nice. Barely. I thought we lost. Victory. So what's going to happen is 
You push the Razorbacks into the forest. One of the Razorbacks snarls. You have no idea what you've started. The strength of the might can, uh, of the might cannot be stopped, especially by measly Petarukans. Even in defeat, they sneer at you through the trees. You make a move to strike strike again, and they fall over one, um, they, and they fall over one another to escape you in the opposite direction. Your confidence in your abilities and those of your kinship have grown. You've helped get the wagon moving again and sent the grateful travelers on their way. They try <laughs> to offer you the little tawny they have, but much to Tolums dismay, Kimber won't let you take it. As you watch them leave, you can't help but dwell on the fact that you, a band of Petarukan, helped to save some creatures in the forest from the tyranny of the might. Excellent. Now we got a faux retreat, so we gain 10 XP and 4 tawny. So go ahead and give us 4 tawny. And we gain 10 XP, which means we just go from 4 to 4, four and we level right? up, yeah. and we put one of these guys on here. How much do we have? 7. Oh. We're rich. Yes. We are rich. Okay. Like, share, and comment. Uh, let's get some more viewers in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's hard when we have all the people here as opposed to in there helping us share and whatnot. We kind of relying on you guys right now to get this out because it's it's COVID season. <laughs> <laughs> Just not a lot of people here right now, unfortunately. Right. We're gonna ah, take hair. back our dudes. We put these. What do we do with the stuff underneath it? Um, you can put it away or you can just leave it there. You can leave it. We'll, our health will reset next time we battle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next active player would be me. These can just be set aside. And we're going to go on the adventure again. I'll take this. And go here. And move one and two to threat. Do we want to stop in the outpost? Uh... Nah, you can do that. You can you can do that on the next one. <laughs> I've already flipped it over anyway. Event yeah. number eighteen. Oh, okay. I'm very excited. I like the events. You choose your own, and you're the main player, so you get to choose. That's right. <laughs> what does that mean, main player? So the main player choose the path when they're heading the out. Choose your own adventure. Wish I could say longer, but keep on gaming. I appreciate you watching. Stay safe. The Glacial Inferno. Whoa. Oh, good. Now, see how, see, it's like darker now, and you can actually see the board. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and see ya. <laughs> it's ready for another epic. You want to read the narrative? Here, you read the uh, narrative. Okay. I'm going to actually get some tea for my voice. So I'm actually going to turn over for Callie for the narrative. The, uh, the gals, because they're much prettier Callie than I am. Callie story time. I oh, no. Never Michael. mind. Callie's Give me that. <laughs> no. I think okay. you're pretty, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody has to. Your cousin. All right. <laughs> hey, I'll take. I'll take it. I don't care. <laughs> Before you lies Mount Jarus, an ominous, half-frozen glacier, half magma-filled volcano. This chaotic balance between two extremes is awe-inspiring, but also fear-inducing. A small group of refugees have set up makeshift shelters at its base. Hail Petarukan waves one of the refugees wrapped in mounds of mismatched leather and fabric. The name's Ander Welkin. But those who know me just call me Switch on account of I can fix about anything. We're traveling to the Timberlands in hopes we can escape the war between unity and might. Kimber extends a paw and introduces herself. I fear there is nowhere left in Dawnshade the war hasn't reached. Watchers willing, we are here to restore balance and peace between them. I admire your ambitions, Switch says as he removes his head wrap and rubs his head. Though I wonder what a few Petarukan can do without an army at your back. If I were you, I'd go back to where I came from. But if you're intent on moving on and crossing Mount Jarus, there are only a few ways to do it. Ahead is a snow-covered path leading over it. He points up at a mountain path, then draws your attention over to a lava flow, winding like a slow river down the mountain. Over there is a cave that goes through it. Or, if you don't mind a bumpy ride, I have also been fashioning a cogwork zeppelin out of some of our tents. We hope it will get us to the Timberlands. I wouldn't mind taking it on a test run if you want to try taking it to the other side, but it'll cost a bit for fuel. A tawny apiece ought to do it. So, we have three options. You can take the mountain pass, eh. investigate the cave, mm. or ride a zeppelin made of tent scraps. <laughs> Ride a Zeppelin made of tent okay, scraps. Okay, it's going to cost us each a tawny. It costs four tawny for that. 
I thought it, it was three. It sounds like it's gonna fall apart. One each. One a peach. One a piece. Oh, he gonna do it. It's worth it. <laughs> well, I'd probably say that in the story next. Three. Ahem. Like you each pay Switch Atani and hop aboard his slapdash Zeppelin. The nervous looks on the other refugees' faces as the airship begins to rise gives you some indication of your judgment in choosing to entrust your fate to the likes of Switch. You didn't tell me he was a devious person. <laughs> The Zeppelin is made out of tent scraps. What do you expect? <laughs> the cabin creaks as the wind picks up. You brace yourself against a barrel of water. Switch is using to regulate the speed of your ascent as you hold tightly to one of the ropes holding this mess of a machine together. You didn't say it was a mess of ropes. You just said yes. it was tent scraps. Yeah. I figured he was very ingenuitive. In, 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 I thought he was a, I mean, a very he, good engineer. He working could be. With jack of all trades. <laughs> Boom! The engine propels the Zeppelin suddenly bursting into flames, engulfing half the cabin and lighting some of the, of the ropes on fire. You desperately try to open the water barrel. Don Shea said don't do it. <laughs> to douse the flames, but you'll have to get through the lock on the lid first. Uh, play Treasure Trap level three. Level three. What, what's that one? We're gonna die. Good going, Michael. <laughs> oh, I know what that... Oh, no! I know what that one is. Uh, Me as I tell Michael not to do it because dang. it's made out of tent scraps. Dang it, that was not a wise decision. Okay, so I we need... We know. How many stacks, how many stacks do I... I mean, I mean, how many... Um, Unlock the mechanism by rolling your cog box through the goal without knocking. Yeah, I know that. I know that. I don't know how to play. I'll explain that. I just need to know uh, how many. Level three is gonna look like this. How many? Uh, how many of the the, the I chips? Don't, I don't know. That's my only question. I don't see a chart or anything. It's it's gonna say a stack of in certain number of chips. That's okay. all I need. Maybe six. Three chips. Three. That's what I need to know. Okay. Okay, and then how many different stacks are there? There are five. So it's oh. like a zigzag kind of. Three across the plus two row. Oh my gosh, okay. And then one in the numeral one spot. Okay. And one in the numeral seven spot. Yeah. Good? Yep. Okay, and all we have to do is take our little uh, guys here. And roll them through, roll them through the board. Michael. I think it's just Hi. you. Yeah, I know, it's just me. You're the one that's gonna roll. Yeah, I know. Okay. Oh, it's just you? you can yeah. like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, wow, that's hard to roll. Good luck. Do you want to All right, let me, let me get the, uh, can you roll? the, the zoom vision in. Oh, yeah, you can. Zoom, zoom. The zoom vision. Why are you hype? Now, all we can see is literally your the you top of your head. Oh, we're good, we're good. So, so, so people can see your head. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to give you room. Okay. So what, what I gotta do is. If you go like. So basically, what I need to do is I need to roll this across through here, between these two areas, between these two areas, and that's a success. If I knock any of these over, I lose. And the other way I lose is if all three of my chances don't make it through. Yeah. So I can't knock these over, and I can't not get through with my three what chances. If you die, what if you lose? What if I happen. lose? We're in trouble, probably. Oh. <laughs> so how, now I gotta. Yeah. How did exactly? Does it give me any tips? Oh. We should have just gone uh, through the mountains. Sorry. You guys gave me the choice. I told you not to. You didn't listen. To Maybe me. if I succeed, it'll be good. Active player will then roll their three cog box yeah. chips one at a time from the bottom of the battle map towards the top. Yep. You may roll anywhere between two white gold markers yep. at the bottom. Yep. Da -da -da. Oh. But you I, roll between your index and middle finger. Use your other hand to roll the chip. Okay, that's why I wanted to know. Secret, yeah. secret bonus tip as to how to do it. Okay, I got so this. You place it your fingers like this. Yeah, yeah. There you yeah, go. I, I figured that out. Okay, okay. and now I just gotta flick it like this. Yeah, yeah, with your fingers. Oh, this is gonna be awful. We are doomed. <laughs> Look at, there's a straight path right here. Yeah, but that sounds challenging. It's gotta be between the white oh little God. marks. Okay, we got this. No, we don't. We're gonna knock over. I ah! did it. Two more. No, only once, right? Oh. You only have to make it once, but you have three chances. If any of the three make it. Okay, you're good. You have achieved success. Yay. Get over here, you Vaki. Did refer it, right? It went through, it, it made it through here, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Refer to the logbook for the consequences. Yeah, yeah I, know, I know what to do next. You guys saw it. 
Everyone saw my successful <laughs> in, in, endeavor. You're all welcome. All right, now let me show you what happens when a real uh, Zeppelin sailor <laughs> does what he needs to do. No cheers from the audience? Wow. Uh, wow. It's delayed. Uh, you disable the lock and rip open the lid, grabbing every container you can find. You make a chain from the barrel to the flames, eating away at the already fragile Zeppelin until the fire is doused. You manage to continue floating swiftly through the skies past, past the majesty of Mount Jarus, but it's hard to enjoy the view when you're waiting for the Ramble Shack airship to fall apart at any moment. Minus two threat. Oh, yay. That's good. <sighs> What else do I get? Six experience and two tawny. Nice. Oh, we got our money back. We got, yeah. we got half we our got money back, money but back. we got six experience, mm -hmm. which will give us another 10 and level us, level us up again. Yay. So when does our agility go up? Uh, we have to get past every, time level we, three. every time we level, right? After level three, we'll get an agility. Our agility is based on our level, and our level right now is three. We have to catch up. Okay. Uh, that was my adventure. Uh, now, it's my turn. you're up. Do you want to actually go and use our experience to buy stuff? Slow clap and a finger clap. <laughs> Thanks, Jet. Do you guys want <laughs> to buy anything? Said, Your cousin looks on in disbelief. <laughs> she didn't think I could do it. She's like, she do it that way. I'm like, no, I got this. You just did it fast enough so nobody knew if it was legit or not. No, that was, complete, <laughs> that was completely legit. All right, what are we doing? Do you guys want to buy anything? Do we have two experience points we can go. We, get, we all get to upgrade and spend. If you want to upgrade, we can do that. Yeah, so the, can, just can. one, yeah. Okay, so move your move the the, fellow, the kinship to the middle. Okay, and now we can we go up one on the threat meter, but that's okay because I reduced our threat by two. Yep. All right, all right. Good choice. <laughs> and we spend two so we can increase our things. Uh, I'm probably just going to go for more stats. Three attack. Go one more defense. So we get two? Uh, actually, one item, just in case I can get another item. No, 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 item. I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling more defense. So I got three defense, three attack. Oh, I might unlock a die. Actually. What does this one mean again? Dev? Uh, that's, ta that's, ta that's these guys. This is. Tani, uh, not Tani, yeah, Vaki. It's your devotion. Well, devotion is like the, your devotion to the element kind of things. Okay. And do you're rolling the yellow. Uh, those, you flip them over and you get a bonus. Like I have a make an opponent miss or something like that. Oh. Hey, Michael, Callie, and new girls. New girls. Hello. New girls, we are not new. Mm. We are returning. You have a bunch of Vaki, you I might want to do a die. Uh, regardless, though, this goes on. And Ashley, you want to draw a thing? Yeah. All right, we flip a thing over. Uh, where do you want to place it? I guess we can. I don't care. What's the threat? So we can go here next time or here. <laughs> What's the name of it? It is. Outpost. Early morning tomorrow. I'll see y'all next shoot, week. Gallery. I'll see you next week, Shane, and thank you for watching. Boomshot. Um, Boomshot Boom gallery. Shot gallery. Outpost. That's fun. <laughs> That's the, this is the Boomshot gallery. Yep. Oh, is it like mini -game? All of my yeah. notes are, are not good for anything because apparently the rulebook is better than my notes. <laughs> what do you know? It shouldn't be because my <laughs> notes are precise. <laughs> For all the things I didn't want to look up. Okay, turn over the battle mat. Each player gets a tawny. Uh, each player plays one pays one tawny. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, we do be spending all of our money. Players. Okay, so take one of your cog bo cog chips, flick it offside the gallery, and then the closest person to the center of any of these things will get get it, and it's one per chip. So if I did this, you're not going to get both of them. See, I'm correcting your rules because I remembered. <laughs> I watched your videos. Uh, but if you did, if it was like this, you'd choose whoever's the closest to this area to get this. You wouldn't get both. But yeah, it, it, we all play down. Yeah, We're trying to get, to get one on top of Yeah, one and it's based on the uh, game. And this is our first game in the adventure, so we're just going to use one. So I'll flick first. Uh, well, I guess that'll count. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh. It was much better last time. Um, yeah. 
Wow. You keep doing that to my damn. Stop I doing that. Ah, this is the second that. time you've thrown it against here. Make me clean it I all up. These are really heavy. Yeah. Like... Yeah. 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 Oh, that was so bad. Wow. Redo. <laughs> that was. Can we have? Look, mine we like have this one around. Nobody got anything. Cause this is so. Are you so saying so my so flick hard. was the best one? My, um, mine was like this too, Michael. Okay, these okay. are so hard. That's to because play. I wasn't really trying the first time, but like, yeah. you just flick it on. It has to. No. Well. I guess. Hey, that's a good flick, but a terrible. It it's terrible, but good. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Okay, and then you get the the thing you're closest to. So. I was going to be everyone at the same time. Oh, it is. Oh, okay. We'll do it again then. <laughs> Are you serious? So apparently, I didn't. I didn't listen that well. <laughs> they, said, they said that. Yeah. Well, in the example, they only had one guy flicking, so. Oh, that's... okay. One, two, three. Oh, is that me all the way over there? Michael! <laughs> and you insult me. Well, because I didn't knock anything over. You Look could. Look at that flick. That was great, actually. All right, all right. All right. go ahead. Good. You get a, a shield. A shield, I guess. So that means and this nothing, goes up? And then Her defense you get two tawny, I think. Uh, I got us some money back. I have. I'm right there. I don't know. I don't know if I get it. Hell, you can look it up. Okay. I don't know what you get. You get something. Hooray! All I've learned from this game is that we all suck at the boom shot gallery. Um, I just got it almost completely on circles. Yeah, well, one for three. Round? Excuse all me. All right, Skip, see you later. So rude. It is so hard to flick <laughs> these things. All right, boom shot gallery. It just says you get the reward. <laughs> okay, well, you weren't uh, you were close enough, and I weren't, wasn't close enough. So they got us rewards. We got the two from Callie. I was right. Like, yeah, right but what next does the shield mean? <laughs> yeah. Does it mean she levels up defense? The, you looked, it was literally in the book. Yeah. It tells you. No, no. In the game, I looked up the game. It doesn't say. I don't know. Oh, shield. Is that a token? Oh, it's a token. So you just one get of it? those. Uh, so over there, oh. the watchers token. There should be a shield one. No, no, maybe. Where's the boom shot gallery? No, yeah, it's, right no here. it's right here. That's exactly what it looks like. All right. Where's it go, though? There's my person? Yeah. Yeah. Wild. Something like that. Well, those ones you can choose when to use, too. Yes. All right. Oh, these could get shuffled up. Put all uh, of Michael's on top. All right, here. Oh, no, I'll take that, Michael. All right. Next adventure. Wait, wait, wait. Boom shot gallery doesn't give us experience? How did these get over here? Anything. What's happening? No, that's it. Okay. Next adventure. Okay. That's bright. I'm the lights. Yeah, my eyes are going to melt. Oh, yeah. We're all, all over. Is this the quest card? No. Yes, there's only one left. Oh. Technically, there's supposed to be two left, but I don't have oh, the oh, adventure okay. with the other ones. Okay, we'll go here, I guess. And then you get I'm going to get there. this shield, yeah. Does that mean we move on to that? Yep. Okay. And then we'll gain one threat. But it's already the major, it's, we're at the major threat now. Uh-oh. Yeah. And to explain that there's journeys as well, while I do this. Oh, yeah, there'll be oh, additional he's cards. He's going to turn down the lights. Oh. In actual game, the journey cards. So Ooh, we right. have a prototype version. I mean, the prototype is great. There's a lot of great components in it, but we are missing just a couple of things, I think. There. Is that better? Look better yes. on the thing. Thank you. Well, not for you guys, but for the stream. Oh, Michael. <laughs> oh, you guys were a little too washed out there. You had a high exposure. Pale. <laughs> Ghost leg. Yeah, let me see now. See if I approve of this. I have to keep... I have to keep yeah, yeah, that's much better. Okay. For the stream. <laughs> Place one shield under her battle stack. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then that we made... got that. Under... Where's your battle stack? This one. Oh, wait. We don't have... you have... How much health do you have? Four? And the shield. Yeah, we just haven't created our so, battle stack yet. So this isn't on top then? No. Oh, we're doing our final battle? Uh-huh. Four. So I add three more shields? You, you're going to have three shields total. With my plus one? Mm-hmm. This, no, this it'll be just be the token at the bottom. Oh, Michael just told me to put that back. He just, he just said, put a, put a shield under your battle stack. Yeah. You like that, right? 
No, that's not a shield. This okay. is not a shield. Okay. That's uh, something else. This is a shield. Yeah. He, he said put a shield under okay. her battle stack. Okay. That's all it is. And then do I put the additional... I'm guessing if yes. we weren't okay. just so about four, to then. fight, this is just you a max marker is three. that says you oh. are going to have a shield. <laughs> it's just so that you know, for future reference, when you fight, you get an extra shield. Hey, Dustin Parker, welcome, welcome, man. Okay. Are you okay? No. Oh. <laughs> good, good. All right. Final battle. And we are level three. Okay, I know this one. So you can read it, and I'm going to set it up. But first, let me get all my... Four. Oh, we're playing different. Bugger... Two buggers. We have one drudge. Not the behemoth. Do you want to bring it one? No. Okay. Was an absolutely unnecessary discussion. Thank you for having us. Shake my hand. I'm busy. Okay, what do we need? I need buggers. Ow. <laughs> I thought they were all the brown Ow. ones. These are, I am no, these ones. Cold. These ones. Oh, great. Okay. Drudge. Bugger. So we need uh, two cogbot buggers. Okay, one Cogbot Drudge with 3 HP. So I can already do this. 3 HP. We only need one. Oh. <laughs> Piloting a bugger. I see, I already have one. one HP to shield. There are so many. I'm just, just we're just holding get it. our index and our middle finger. Two Cogbot Drudges with 3 HP. With 3 HP. Me on the stream, like. No, no, no. I got it. Go ahead and read this. Go ahead and read this. Thank you. Okay. I got it. We be on the stream. Thank you. Uh, you keep moving through. Oh, do we want to read the beginning? Yes. Oh. Wait, yeah. Doesn't this matter? Read, okay. read, the, read, okay. read the beginning. Yeah. The path grows stick thicker as the canopy of the rotten knot forest all but blocks the light of Dawn Shade's setting sun. Eerie sounds from unknown creatures fill the air, making the hairs of your tail bristle. A misty haze blankets the underbrush, causing it to feel as though the forest is closing in on you. Why did Eldress Dale Got choose it. us? Ash says, patting the dew from his cloak and looking solemnly into his paws. I'm not strong enough. None of us are. Bottom pulls his arm, puts his arm around Ash. Eldris Dale once told me the Watchers often choose the weakest among us for the greatest task, he offers. She said it's not a creature's beauty, power, or riches that qualify them, but their willingness to heed the call when asked. I'm not sure about the riches part, but you're here right now, and that's all that matters. A twig breaks nearby, causing the kinship to snap to attention. You can't shake the feeling you are being watched, but in the Timberlands, you can scarce tell the difference between your own shadow and a creature hungry for its next meal. All right, you want to climb the tree, build a fire, or keep moving? You can choose as a group. Uh, the fire might fire. be a good idea. Okay. Fire, two, we can uh, build a fire. You do your best to find a clearing in the dense overgrowth and prepare camp. You build a fire, hoping its light and warmth will provide you protection and comfort. But it only serves to cast ominous shadows on the trees and branches that seem too close for comfort. Roll Dawn Shade die. All right, yeah. Where's the other one? Here. They thought it was Vaki. Oh. Here, you can roll it. Yeah, roll Me? actually. Roll a Dawn and a Shade. We want balance in this game. Yep. Dawn and a Shade. Yay, success. I have an idea, Flash declares as she rummages through her knapsack and pulls out some cog rope and a vial of Vaki essence. She gets busy creating a series of traps along the perimeter of your camp. As she finishes, the pot of boiled scutterbug stew Plotum has prepared is just about ready. Shroom! A loud triggering mechanism breaks the silence, sending a wave of panic through your body. You run to the source and see a cogbot drudge piloting a cogbot bugger. The robot-like drudge is trying to free the bugger's mechanical spider-like legs from one of Flash's traps. 
you hear rustling in the underbrush as more buggers close in. Prepare for battle. Gain accurate. All right. All right, and then I'm good at the battle. Okay. Who gains accurate? She does. Me, because I'm the active player. Thank you. I'm the one who said. Actually, does it just stay with you? Yeah. Does it stay with you for the first for the first phase in combat? I think so. Okay. Okay, and then we prepare for battle. So I went ahead. Set it all up. Why does it say warning on that one? Uh, it's the. It's the drudge that's piloting. Uh, yeah, it's something for something. It's something for something else. So just flip it over. Okay, beautiful. So we have our characters, right? In our mm-hmm. different positions, I've shuffled up the target deck. We have two cog bots we have to deal with. They're weak. They only have two defense and one shield each, or two 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 shields and one HP each. And it tells you on the back of their little token here, one HP, two shield, and it tells you they're this guy has actually just got five uh, defense. So he's, he rolls a lot of defense oh. die. So we have to take him out pretty quickly. Uh, and these guys do the same thing. And then this guy is a drudge that is riding a cogbot bugger. So, so, <laughs> no, these guys do different things. These, these guys are two twos, I think. He's chilling. And these are two twos. And he's a two two as well. But he, he starts with this ability first, and when this dies, then it goes to this guy's ability. All right. You set up the bag too. When he dies, he like that. Kill him. Get out of the And then we're going to take one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, and five. Put them in here. Those are the five enemies. And then we'll take one, two, three, and four plus one. Yep, I know. Oh, I just wanted to let you know that one. Yeah. Oh, so we have equal chance. And we get the number of players plus one when we're fighting. So in this one specifically, it's normally with the number of players, and then we add plus one. Use a faux die. A faux die? Oh, it's one of these guys, probably. All right, go ahead. Faux die. Faux die. Let me see. There is a one, there's like two black ones. I know, I, I don't know which one it is. I don't know, I'm just letting you know so I can give you the right one. Good. Oh, good. Whew. Okay. There's only three things? Yeah, we always do three, right? Four, four. Die. It's four. Three tokens or four? Four die. Let me see. This one. Huh? Are we supposed to have to draw four? You draw. I thought it was three. Number of players plus placing mission. Draw number of players. Four. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Take it. Oh, wow. This is mean. Is this black one the faux die with the, uh, with the axe? That's scary. Ooh. I'm guessing. All the buggers use that? Or just the piloted one? This is the exploding What's die the here. Time for the All the buggers. Uh, it, what about how long we've been streaming for? Minus a half an hour, however long we've been streaming for. We've been streaming for an hour and 40 minutes. And oh, we, we, a we started. Over an hour for each time you play. Yeah, so I'd say probably about an hour. Hour to hour and a half. Hour to hour and a half. Because uh, we're on the last RPG. battle right now. This yeah. will be another 15 minutes or so. Plus and it's over? Us. Yes. Oh, That's the end of the round. Uh-huh. Uh, you can keep going, though. You can do the next next one. You start with your, you'll save everything. It's all your levels and whatnot. And you'll do, do the next adventure. Mm-hmm. Which will have new quests and, and that kind of stuff. Because we're leveling up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with number four. One, two, three, four. Uh, Cogbot. This is Cogbots or two twos, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. That's what you said, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go ahead and roll for him. Two of each. Oh, we're doing Cogbot. It says... Two, two. Huh. No, Cogbot. Oh, uh, oh this one. Yeah, that's why I, I, oh, I know what those are. They say on the chip. It's a two, okay, two. Yeah, yeah. Roll two, roll two. 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 Well, okay, you roll. Okay. All right, and the target is going to be... Callie. So you'll take one... Damage. Nice. And they get nothing. So we'll discard this chip. And... Kelly goes. Kelly goes. Yes! All right. Yeah, initiative pull this... Oh, initiative pull this player's plus one. Am I supposed to pull another token? 
Initiative hold is players plus one. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna check the rules to make sure you guys didn't <laughs> mess with me. All right, but still, okay. you get to go. Yeah. I do. I get to do three attack. I have yeah. shield. Because we want to get those guys in the front out first. Get two. <laughs> That's good. These guys first. We, yeah, we can probably get out. Because Michael them. will go after me, yeah. yeah. It's me, it's you, it's Michael, and then it's me. Uh -huh. So we're all going to be able to attack them probably before the, before they kill us. Okay. Oh, and you have accurate. All right. Draw so the number of chips oh, we equal. Oh, roll all misses, yeah. Yeah, this is the number of chips, e chips equal, equal the number of players in the game, so correct that. Two. I can only attack one play one thing, though, right? Yeah. Oh. Mm, yes. Okay, well, then this one's It's okay. Fine. You'd rather, rather one die than than, yeah. than not. Than hit, than hit something else that doesn't want Yeah, pass. the accurate really helped, actually. Okay. All right. My turn. turn. I will roll three. Attack die, not these. Those. All right. Yeah. And one plus a miss, two plus I can heal. Two damage. Oh. All right. I'll do three. Did I miss any showcasing of Zyn? I had to step away for a minute. Zine? Zine. Zine? A magazine. Not yet. Does the game's move? over. What? Does that move? Yeah, yeah, that's. This will be Samantha. Yeah. I mean, you, you do it. You flip it. You, after it's finished, then you move it to the discard. It doesn't. Oh, okay. As long as you remember to do them all, it doesn't really matter. Go attack. One. And then I have plus one damage. Oh, I equal to the number no, of armor. I if you roll the special. Oh. So oh. you're gonna, you rolled two misses, so you put your green tracker up on two. That's why that matters. And then matters. we knock him out. Yes. Okay, I lied about these. That makes more sense now when you have that plus one defense, which is purple. You, you get, uh, your defense is based on the number of armor items, not defense stat. Oh. Oops. Okay. So, so you, should I have so you had You're gonna kill this one, right? You did just get one, just now. Shouldn't I have gotten an additional one? You don't get you don't get an additional. You just get the one that you. You're killing this one, right? Yeah. You okay. had, from All the right. card, from the token. Two buggers oh, so are down. Get, you don't Any defense? Either. No. We got the hmm. defensive roll guys out. Special instructions. What does defense do then? It's how many you can roll. How many die you can roll. Oh, all right. Last last sentence in the logbook. You got me. <laughs> oh, I did because I did read the the fact that you put an extra uh, number of players plus one in the bag. But I didn't read yeah. that you pull out a number of players plus one. Okay. So I didn't read the last sentence. Two. Dang it. All right. Number two goes. So four. We've already, I got out the. Oh, number two. Yeah. Okay. I got out number the two. So number out. three will go. Not four. Three. Yeah. Right. Three. Which is one and three. Correct. Mm -hmm. Or, sorry. What's that? Uh, foe die and five defense. Foe die. Uh oh. Bunch of defense. Wait. Oh. It's five, right? Mm-hmm. Can only have max three though. Yeah, he gets one defense and he does three damage to blue. Me? Again. Oh no. Wow, that was. I didn't see how we're gonna do it. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridic oh, wow. This thing is mean. Yeah. That's a mean die. Oh, okay. That's the end of the round. So I don't get to go? You'll be next. Well, we're going to put these back in the bag. Yeah. And Wait. Oh, we're still continuing Yeah, active this. technically goes to... Who, who attacked? We we all got to attack. Three three. Actually, this thing was the only one. Oh, so you're the last person to attack them. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So what we do is you'll we... You'll be next. Well, yeah, she gets to be the active player. Yeah. But we shuffle these up. We go to round four, and then we draw a number of players plus one. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. Good job. And Ashley gets to go now. Uh oh. He might die. So I can roll three then, right? Chris, Chris, how you mm -hmm. doing? Welcome to Dawn Shade. <laughs> Should I use a shield? 
but up to you. Fight. Kill, defeat one of the, the, the bots. If we get knocked out, it's okay. Yeah. The, the others can win for us. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm the one with the lowest health. All right, what did you get? Three. One, two, three. Yeah. Take one of them out. This one? Nice. We're doing One, two, three. Uh, all right, so three is going to act, which is this guy here. And he does... Oh. He does the five die. His, one. He, wrote, he does this, basically, because he already has max defense. And he's attacking purple. I'll roll them all for fun. Uh, three damage to purple. Terrifying. If I knew that it I mean, was That's good. HP, Better than hitting Callie. I would have put up my HP more. Uh, now one will attack, which happens to be three as well. And he's attacking purple for three. Oh, no. Now what happens when a, now what happens when a player knocks it's knocked out? I don't know, that didn't it's happen weird. to us before. It's okay. You can get you can get put back in. Uh, let's see. I don't know. You go. Uh oh no, you're no, actually I'm next. next. Okay. You, yeah, yeah, you gotta look. Yeah, I'll look. Okay. Do to attack and the shield. <laughs> Two attack. Oh, it's okay. We have a uh, one more, or we have Michael going. Yeah. And me and him are still at full. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You just get KO'd. You so turn, Michael. What happens if that guy, like the foes, pull Ashley again? Do we have to pull until it comes up? Um, like if if the deck pulls up Ashley, do we just oh, she attacks nothing? I uh, no, I think they. I don't know. Cali will look. I want three attack die. It's probably important to know. Uh, one, two, three. Oh no, this is a special die. <laughs> like this is really good. Where's another? There you go. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, and I can heal. Uh, now I for two. Get rid of that guy that has all the defense, right? So I do three. Or can you do it? Can you send it to different ones? I can do three. Oh, I can do four damage. Sorry, one, two, three, four. That's four, which knocks out the, dr guess. the yeah this guy. That's why I was like, you should probably get him out if you can. Okay, well, that's a great roll actually. Uh, one, two, three, four. Plus, I have two heals. Does anybody need? Give it to Kelly. I can't heal a knocked out player. I'm guessing. Thank you. You have four health total, Kelly. Yes. Okay. Yeah, if I knew Heal. HP was better, I would have yep. probably boosted that. So now it's the next round. Good evening, Alex. Good evening, good evening. Is No, it's your turn. Samantha. Oh, it's my turn? Yes. Don't we have... Oh, so I get to attack? Yes. Okay. Well, it's your turn. I mean, you can do whatever you like. You can attack, you can roll <laughs> defense, you can roll yellow die. Can I have the thing? What do you want? I don't uh, know what thing attack. means. Okay, yeah. Um, I didn't know because Callie attacked and then you attacked. So and there's only Callie two. attacked, then mm -hmm. the bad guys attacked, and then I attacked, and now you're attacking. Oh, okay. Yeah. One. One, I think. And then those are two misses. Uh, when you get misses, you can add, move your track up. It just says we the knock, knock out the combo. Win if they KO all of us. That's all I can see. We'll get, I'm sure we'll get clarifications. Yeah. This moved around three. I think we're still pretty golden though, Pony Boy. Uh, oh, all the defense these go in there. here. Where's my baggie? There you are. Did you say if a player gets knocked out, you'll yeah. skip their target card. Okay. That's what, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, otherwise they're just attacking nothing, so. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. You might not even hit the ult this time. Whoa. That's not bad. Okay. That's not bad. Thank you. I guess. You were a, a useful sacrifice. 
in in the oh. adventure. It's okay. She's, she's only not dead. dead. She's not dead. Yeah. You you fall into sleep. We can revive you. Uh, two second. damage. Two. <laughs> and one miss. I get my overdrive too late. <laughs> and then it goes to me. Yep. And I will take care of business working overtime. Taking care of business. With my, with that cogbot with only one HP, that will be exactly one damage, which will do it! Yay! <laughs> <laughs>